Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo has been appointed Acting Chief Justice. This move comes as Chief Justice Mukhweng Mukhweng is on long leave. Justice C.C. Kampempe has been Acting Chief Justice since May. Zikona Ndlebe is a researcher and advocacy officer at Judges Matters and joins us to discuss this uh, further. Zikona, thank you so much for making time this afternoon. So the Deputy Chief Justice is now the Acting Chief Justice. Is he going to get capacity to act in the Constitutional Court and also finish the work of the State Capture Inquiry? Well, that's a concern that we are also considering. But uh, the statement that came from the Office of the Chief Justice from Natin Mobe says that the acting Chief Justice uh, Zono will be capable to perform the duties of a Chief Justice at the Constitutional Court, despite the fact that the state capture inquiry has not yet concluded. So that's what we've heard. We've heard. Um, we'll have to wait and see whether he will actually be able to perform the duties of, the, of a Chief Justice while still doing the work of the, the inquiry, state capture inquiry. And, and do you think that uh, there won't be concerns around possible conflict here? We know uh, here now that the former president, Jacob Zuma, has now filed an application against the Constitutional Court's findings, which at the heart are about the fight between the Deputy Chief Justice and the State Capture Inquiry and the former president himself, Jacob Zuma. Mm. So there is a possibility of some conflict of interest being there, um, given the scenario that you've given just now. But in, in, if that happens, then the acting Chief Justice will have to recuse himself from any case relating to uh, the former President Jacob Zuma if that happens. So there's the option of recusal yeah. if there is any conflict of interest that does arise. All right. Is the Chief Justice going to come back, Zikona, to finish off his term, or is he likely uh, to complete his term while on leave? Well, he's on long leave. He's been on long leave since May. And it is leave that is due to him. So if the long leave does end before his term as the Chief Justice ends in October, then he will have to come back. But if the long leave is extended up until October, then he might not come back. We might not see the, the Chief Justice again performing the, the duties of a Chief Justice. Um, and we'll have to accept that his term has come to an end in October and uh, see who the next Chief Justice will be. And this is normal, right? I think the, uh, the Chief Justice did, in fact, send a very long statement because there were rumors going around uh, that uh, maybe he is taking this leave because he, don't want, he doesn't want to sign the um, arrest warrant for former President Jacob Zuma. But he sent out a long statement explaining that it is normal uh, to take this long leave because mm -hmm. if he doesn't take it now and his term finishes, then he would forfeit that. Yes, yes. It's absolutely normal that um, justices take long leave after a certain period of years that they've been at the Constitutional Court. So it's normal, and it was said that he had not taken any long leave since his um, period at the Constitutional Court as the Chief Justice. So it is not something that is out of the question that he he's entitled to the, to, to the long leave. And as you, you have said, um, he would have forfeited the long leave had he not taken it. Um, but um, while well, the, the time that he decided to take the long leave um, was a bit tricky, but we cannot draw any inference or conclusion from that because it is leave that is due to him as a chief justice and as a justice at the Constitutional Court. All right, Zikona, thank you so much for making time this afternoon. Zikona Ndlebe is a researcher and advocacy officer at Judges Matter.